Hi, and welcome to this Q&A on how to apply the concepts of lean management to product development. I'm Chet Marchwinski for the Lean Enterprise Institute, and I'm joined by two recognized ex experts on this subject. Derwin Sobeck is a professor and program coordinator of industrial engineering at Montana State University, and he has a PhD in industrial and operations engineering, and he's co-author with the late Alan Ward of the breakthrough book, Lean Product and Process Development. Jim Morgan is founder and president of EMC Network. He too holds a PhD in engineering. And most recently, uh, Jim was a global engineering director at Ford Motor Company, uh, where he was a key player in the product-led uh, revitalization under CEO uh, Alan Mulally. So, Jim, I just noted Ford's uh, revitalization was uh, product-led. Uh, there were no financial tricks, no bailout money. They just decided, let's make cars, let's develop cars that people want to buy. Uh, were there any lean concepts involved in that uh, product revitalization? Sure, absolutely. Um, the first thing was we realized just how critical having great products were to the success of the enterprise. Um, and then we had to go about developing a system and an organization that would do a better job of delivering those great products uh, to our customers. And all throughout that, uh, whether it was the people side or the process side, we applied lean principles. Okay. And um, Derwin, how about, uh, you just finished a, a a re-edit and with new material along with contributions from Jim of the uh, Lean Product and Process Development book. So what is Lean Product and Process Development? Well, that's a good question, Chet. Uh, lean Product Development is a way of approaching product development where you're focused on creating value added in terms of usable knowledge and you use that knowledge to create value for your customers and you do that without uh, creating waste. One of the things that's perhaps new about lean product development is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that uh, we're really focused on creating operational value streams. So focus on product clearly, but also on all the processes that need to go to work get into place so that the product can get into the marketplace. And tell us a little bit more about the book. What's what's new in this edition, and why is there a World War II fighter on the cover and not a, not a tablet or a cell phone or something like that? Well, the reason why there is a uh, fighter aircraft on the uh, cover, that's the P-51 Mustang. And uh, that development project came into being at a very rapid pace with a small team, and we think epitomizes the uh, essence of a lean development uh, program. And one of the things that they used predominantly in that development project was the use of trade-off curves and other uh, data visualizations. <clears throat> and that's one of the key concepts that's in the book. Uh, the other thing that we did uh, with the book is uh, we tried to develop a few of the concepts a little bit more. Uh, we tried to update it with the most recent thinking in lean product development. And we introduced uh, new case examples that worked in the book before, and we tried to update the ones that were there. And perhaps the biggest uh, addition and the most exciting addition from my standpoint is the addition of five case examples uh, at the end of the book where real companies are trying these principles out and achieving real results. Jim, can you tell us about uh, one of those case studies? Um, so there were uh, two that I was involved in. Uh, one was at Ford that I lived. We talked a little bit about that already. The other one was uh, Menlo Innovations, uh, where we looked at a very different company than Ford Motor Company to see how those principles would apply in that environment. Menlo is a relatively small uh, software and software interface development company uh, that started out to create joy. Uh, in the workplace and really ended up in a very similar place and although the intent was not necessarily to develop a lean enterprise or lean product development, uh, it ended up in, in a very similar place uh, than did the, uh, the, the, the other case studies. So there's a case study uh, from automotive manufacturing, a case study from software development. Uh, sounds like these concepts are not exclusive to, to industry. There would, uh, so who should read the book? Who should buy it? Well, <clears throat> that's a good question. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, we actually have a case study from uh, golf club manufacturers, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, from, uh, from a European uh, truck maker, also from an uh, automotive supplier, Goodyear, and, uh, and case examples from a lot of different industries. So uh, really anyone who's involved in the development of new products 
uh, regardless of what industry they're in, can find very powerful ideas in this book. Okay. Derwin Sobeck, Jim Morgan, thank you very much for taking the time today to talk, and good luck with the book. Thank you. Thanks.